if you've been using Windows for any extended period of time, you'd know that eventually your PC is going to stop working if you don't activate it. But what happens with Windows 11? Well, it turns out pretty much nothing. So here I've got a copy of Windows 11. I'm just going to open up a command prompt. Let's just type in system info. And if we scroll up just a little bit, we can see the original install date on this one here was back in 2022. We're now in May of 2023. So this has been installed for a long time. And you can see down here on the right, we've got our activate Windows message. Now, there are a couple of things that we aren't going to be able to do on an unactivated copy of Windows, but mostly these relate to personalization, things like changing our desktop background and changing some of the colors and things like that. So if we right click on our desktop and we go to personalize, now I have to add, I'm also in a remote session here, so there are some things you can't do because of that. But when it comes to an unactivated PC, you're going to see we've got a message here, you need to activate Windows before we can personalize our PC. So things like our background, you can see that's all grayed out. We can't make any changes there. The colors, same sort of deal. But we are able to change our theme to any of the pre-supplied inbuilt ones. Now, I'm not going to suggest that not activating or not paying for a copy of Windows is the right thing to do. Obviously, it's not. And I do think that there's a lot of people out there who haven't activated their PC and probably have no intention of paying for that license. So this probably represents a pretty small percentage of users using Windows. And most people that have bought a PC, it comes with a licensed copy of Windows or large corporations have obviously bought Windows and maybe they pay for corporate licensing. But I think eventually Microsoft's goal will be to get everyone using Windows 365, which is going to be using a copy of Windows in the cloud. So therefore, that'll be a monthly subscription. You'll be paying for it anyway. At the moment, I'm not sure they really care, not in the way that they used to. So back to the original question, what happens if we don't activate Windows 11? Pretty much nothing. Just a few subtle cosmetic changes you won't be able to do. Everything else will work just fine. So I hope that's helped answer that question. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.